Hey guys, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of my favorite top nude liquid lipsticks and lipsticks and lip glosses. I just feel that I have not done a video like this since I first started my channel, which was like years ago. So I wanted to show you guys like all the nudes, like I'm talking about summertime light nudes. I know nudes are different for certain people and there's a lot of nudes out there and it's hard it's hard to pick out your favorite nudes and the nudes that's going to be complimentary on your lips and towards your skin tone and everything so i put all my lipsticks in this candle holder from bath and body works the name is right here it's like this cinnamon spice vanilla scent candle i love this smell anything that has to do with like pumpkin or any spices and vanilla smells like i'm burning a vanilla candle right now you can't see it. it's like right here i was gonna put it back there but i didn't want hair to burn if you hear any like construction or any drilling like that's outside they're fixing the pool now like i don't know why they're fixing it now they are supposed to open hopefully next week but let's see i have my coffee ready and it's like two in the afternoon but i was feeling sick this morning so i wanted to like do my videos later usually i'll film like in the daytime or really really late but it's like the afternoon so everybody's like still at work and yeah all right so let's start off with the liquid lipstick so this one is by colored rain this is in the shade sugar it's their matte liquid lipstick and it ranges about like 18 to 20 dollars around there but what i like about the website itself and the company is that they put their liquid lipsticks on sale most of the time like they'll have it for like 10 bucks 14 dollars it depends like what they have on sale that time but usually around the holiday times or like when they whenever they feel like it i usually get mine for like 10 bucks because I feel that that's like a good deal for $10 for liquid lipstick, especially like this kind of brand. Some people may have a problem with this kind of formula. It is matte, like it's matte. It's not ultra matte like ColourPop, but it's pretty matte. And it does stay on all day. I, I haven't had any problems with this. I used to wear this all the time a year ago because like I was staying in New York, so I only had a couple of liquid lipsticks. and coloring was like my go-to so i'm pretty happy with this shade i like it i've used it a couple of times and i love how this looks i even like wearing this when i'm not on film or i'm not posting on instagram this is like my go-to i will include swatches if you are curious on how they look on my skin tone so all of my foundation shades i'm not gonna list all of them i'm gonna list them down below like the top foundations that a lot of people would purchase or like that's top rated at sephora i'll list it all down below i'm not like a tan shade i'm pretty pale so i'm not super pale like porcelain but i'm in the neutral range this next one is by anastasia beverly hills this is their liquid lipstick in stripped i recently picked this up about a month ago or two and i'm so happy with this because i've heard a couple of my favorite youtubers and instagrammers talk about this uh liquid lipstick shade itself i do own a couple of them like there's some in here in the first drawer i do own a couple of them i used to own like when they first launched their liquid lipsticks i don't know if you remember but like their first batch was terrible i did not like it it didn't stay on my lips especially the deeper shades because i had gotten two deeper shades that was like so popular i don't remember the name of the shades but i wanted to try out the formula one more time before i even spend my money on their liquid lipsticks in general and i really did enjoy the shade sapia and i i loved how it stood on my lips it wasn't super matte it wasn't moving around as much and i wouldn't say it's transfer proof because you got some liquid lipsticks that are transfer proof and they still look good but with anastasia beverly hills liquid lipsticks they don't last so so long as other liquid lipsticks that i own I love this shade. This has a little bit of pink in it with the nude. And this is perfect for like every day. If you're going to work, going to school, you're going to run errands. Like this is perfect. And I love how this glides on my lips. I did feature this in my recent tutorial. I'll put the card up here so you can definitely check it out and how it looks on my lips. 
but I am going to swatch them on my lips anyways and also on my arm so you can see how it looks. I know like like I said some nudes will turn up differently for other people but this one is perfect for me. This next one is by Jeffree Star. This is his Velour Liquid Lipstick in Mannequin and this is a permanent shade. I love this shade. At first I was like mm, it's too light. But with nudes, you do have to add a lip liner. That's the key to having like that nice nude lip where it's not going to wash you out or make it look like you have concealer on your lips. With these, like I'm just saying in general, you have to wear a lip liner that's maybe a shade or two darker than the liquid lipstick. With this one and the rest of them, I'm always pairing it with NYX Natural Lip Liner. I feel that that's like the perfect lip liner for my skin tone. And with this liquid lipstick shade, it's so perfect for me. At first, I didn't like it. I didn't like how it looked on me. I was doing it all wrong. Like, I was just putting it on. I'm like, why wow, I look washed out? But then when I started applying some lip liners on, like, before, and then just blend it out, the best way I like to apply this is put it on and then dab it. And it just looks like that pouty, nice lip look. And I love this shade. And then there's another shade that he came out with. A year ago in the summer collection this is his velour liquid lipstick in hunty the difference between mannequin and hunty hunty is like that really light nude with some i guess like some peach undertone a little bit some peach in there this one has a teeny bit like a uh, pink undertone just like stripped so it's just like that this one is like that different type of number compare them next to each other so you can definitely see but i love his liquid lipstick this next one is by kaylon cosmetics this is their lip lacquer and seduce now seduce is like the lightest one that i own that i prefer and this one does not dry out my lips it smells amazing i love that cupcake batter smell like it smells so good and so freaking amazing i i would just like open it up sometimes just to smell it it smells so good the formula is really great kaylon cosmetics liquid lipsticks is very underrated it's not talked about a lot and i can understand because they're a small indie brand it's right up there with the high end i really love this they're uh, website is full of like eyeshadows blushes foundations and everything so definitely check them out like I feel like this is something that people need to try especially youtubers that are really really like known their price range is pretty reasonable and I can understand like why they sell certain things for like in the $20 range because their formula is really great it's not like cheap makeup or anything it's really up there the formula is great oh my god their blushes i tried out their blushes today and it's pigmented like it's there this next one is one of my other favorite brands is by kat von d this is her liquid lipstick in bow and arrow this is like talked about hyped up about and I, I wouldn't say it's like, wow, this is amazing kind of formula liquid lipstick shade, but it's it's good. It's good. It's not the best. I've tried better, you know, but it's good. Like, I mean, I have these in mini sizes. This one came with a eyeliner when I had bought it at Sephora. It came in a little box for 20 bucks, And I was like, you know what? Let me try the small ones. I have a lot of her small ones here. If you haven't seen the video of me swatching most of these, I'll link that up here. Yeah, like her formula is really great. I like it. I like this shade. It is more of a beigey nude. It, it's not like that other nude, like Hunty. It's not like that. But there's some little beige in it, like a little brown, like a light, light, light brown hint in there. But it's, it's a really good shade. I really like it. It's not the best that I've tried. Like, this is something I would reach for from time to time. But it's one of the top nudes that I can say that I like. That it does suit my skin tone. That I do like to reach for whenever I have the chance to reach for it. They do sell this at Sephora for 20 bucks. Now, I don't think they sell this as like a mini size like this. But 
they do have certain boxes that they sell from time to time of her liquid lipsticks that is in this size. I prefer to have this size than to have the full size because I don't have to commit to a full size. Like I have the shade Lolita too and that's a full size and I don't even reach for it anymore. I used to reach for it all the time. That was like my go-to. But now, like, I don't even reach for it anymore. But with these, it's like, I don't have to feel that bad because it's a mini size. And I don't know how I would go through this so quickly, like how some people would go through it. Because I do makeup and I try different things every single day. So I can't stay with the same thing all the time. This next one is one of my favorite formulas, one of my favorite brands. This is from Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Sand. When I tried this on the first time, I did not know it was going to be that nude. Sometimes when you swatch it on your hands or on your arm, it could look different. It could look a certain way, but when you apply it onto your face, it's different. And this is like a nude. This is this is a nude i was like whoa i put on way too much just one swipe is so pigmented so opaque that i had to tap like dab it on my is that a word dab i had to like pat it onto my lip and make it look like that ombre look with the lip liner so it did work out i do have a video of me using this so if you want to check it out i'll post it up here as well and it did go great with it i love how it looked on my lips this is like one of the nudes that I would use to um, do like an ombre with and it's not too super light but I know if I would use this without a lip line it's going to look super 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 light like super light. Now moving on to lipstick tubes. I only have three because I haven't worn a lipstick tube in so long and I went through my collection and I, I try to remember what I love so much that I used to do before I got into the whole doing my makeup every day. Now this is a lipstick that I have bought a while back ago and I was like so rocking this like every single day and I was working and all the time like every time I want to touch up I would use this lipstick. This lipstick is by MAC and it's their Cream Sheen Creme de Nude Lipstick. It seems pretty pale but it suits my skin so i i tried it so many times this is like the first swatch i'm doing because it's a lipstick too but look at that it's got some sheen to it so it's not like a matte formula it's a cream sheen and i really like this shade this is like my go-to it doesn't have a smell just a slight smell just a slight smell but it was like one of my go-to favorites it's like the perfect cream she nude for me i love it mac has so many lipsticks that you can go through just go to this store try out swatch out all their new lips lipsticks that they have i'm telling you it took a while for me to find that nude from their collection this next one is by nyx this is like a old lipstick like i don't even know if you remember but this is their lipstick in honey and it's their round lipstick this is a pretty freaking nude and it has some beigey brown tone undertone to it so next to cream sheen you see like this is honey right here and this is the mac lipstick too and they're different but it works out for me i used to wear this all the time back in the day when i first got married and we moved in together this is like my go-to like when i was busy doing things getting stuff for our house and everything like our apartment i would always rock this shade with like a coastal sense palette that was like so old and it's funny because i was so obsessed with their round lipsticks that i went to all of my beauty supply store back in new york and just find them like it was like a freaking treasure hunt for me to find all of their shades i didn't have all their shades but i had most of them and this was like one of the ones that i forgot who mentioned this it was a, a youtuber but she mentioned it and i was like hmm i like that shade on her so i wanted to try it out and it's freaking awesome and i didn't even know that there's like a freaking lip balm like a gloss right underneath this that like you have to pull it out I'm not gonna do it now I'm not gonna struggle but 
this is a bomb if you were wondering but yeah these are really affordable i love nyx they have a lot of great stuff this is their lip smacking fun colors lipstick yeah and honey another one by nyx which is one of my favorite formulas is the lip uh nyx matte lipstick in the shade sable and i did show this in my recent video oh it's got like a hair so this is how it looks and it's a matte formula is like right there with honey but it's darker than honey this has like that peachy brown undertone and as you can tell i use this up all the time back in the day like i use it recently in my um my blue cut crease tutorial which it will be up before this video but that was like, I forgot how great that formula is and how nice it went on my lips. And I this was like another one that I really, really enjoy finding at the stores. And I have a lot of their matte lipsticks, so I'm going to do a separate video on them. Because those are good too. These lipsticks are under 10 bucks. These are affordable. I love NYX, like I said before. NYX is like one of my other favorite drugstore brands, so... They do make great lipsticks too. The last product is a matte liquid lipstick, an ultra matte liquid lipstick by ColourPop. And this is in the shade Auto Correct. This is way darker than all the nudes that I own. This dries down way faster than all the ones that I have. This does not move. And I love this shade. If I want to just have like a simple eye look with some natural lashes and like a nude, like a dark nudie peach this is like a brown peach this is like dark, like darker than a nude but this is in a nude collection i did do a video swatching these and i just I, I didn't think i was gonna like it but then i enjoyed it later on when i tried it out i don't need a lip liner with this because it's pretty nice and it is dark it's not like cream sheen or anything like that a lot of people don't enjoy color pops ultra matte liquid lipsticks because it's too drying for them me personally i can take it i wear a lot of balm especially like after makeup i put on my lip balm throughout the day and i have a couple of them that are really really great if you're interested i use more than one just to keep my lips hydrated sometimes i forget but i do make sure that i wear a balm before i do my makeup and this stays on all day it will not budge it's like one of that formula that it's gonna stay if you want something to stay all day this is it that is it for my top favorite new lipsticks i just love all of them and i enjoy using them and i hope you enjoy the swatches as well if they were very helpful and let me know in the comments down below what else you would like to see i'm going to film also like my top favorite reds and my top favorite pinks oh my god the pinks is gonna be crazy long if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you can be notified when my video post and also check out my other videos i have a lot of great videos a lot of makeup tutorials and me showing you a lot of great stuff that i bought recently if you like this background let me know in the comments so that way i can continue to film around this corner in my beauty room i'm usually the type of person i'm very reserved so i like to stick to certain things and also let me know what other videos you want to see too thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye